looking at C23, this is a normal uh, cervical joint. So I will come onto the articular pillars of C2. Again, I'm going to assess it in neutral, flexion, and extension. In neutral, I'm going to produce just a lateral glide of C2 on C3. To bias extension, I'm going to extend C2 and again produce a lateral translation, assessing the left extension moment of C2 on C3. To bias flexion, I'm going to flex until C2 starts to move, again producing a lateral translation. And this one you will be assessing the contralateral side, as that will maximally flex. Uncovertebral joint for C2, C3. Instead of being of the, in the plane of the facet, which will be up and down, I'm going to change my angle and come on more of the uh, transverse process. And it will be more of an inferior medial posterior or superior um, anterior lateral. So the assessment will come from C2, come more into the lateral transverse process, and produce more of a translation uh, imp to access for extension. And you can look for a superior lateral, either pulling the ipsilateral side up or coming onto the contralateral side and pushing that into an imp.